recent videos we've been discussing how to increase the floral diversity in perhaps your herbaceous borders so introducing things such as mapita, salvia, lavender all the kind of usual elements that you would expect to see within a garden setting however today I'd like to talk to you about a different habitat that you can introduce into your own garden which is of huge importance nationally uh, and that is a wildflower meadow because it has declined in its area by about 97 percent over the last hundred years which is a really alarming amount and so by introducing these small mini meadows into your own back garden it's helping create that patchwork across the landscape for insects and other animals to move between now there's a couple of ways you can do this one is by stripping the turf off and rotivating a seed in the area which is, is fine and it does work well however today i'm looking to individually introduce certain species of wildflowers in the form of potted plants which you can see kind of over to my right here behind me uh, and that will create a, a fantastic immediate effect if you like within this season so here's a few of the plants that i'm looking to plant one of these is of course the oxide daisy or the moon daisy which is a fantastic perennial short-lived perennial that will come up year after year and we're all fairly familiar with it but it's great for a, a whole number of insects one of my personal favorites probably my personal favorite uh, the bird's foot trefoil which is of course a, a fantastic a little low growing uh, native wildflower and great for so many species things such as the six pot bonnet moth and the bird, um, common blue butterfly both lay their eggs on it also i'll be looking to plant meadow buttercup which is a, another great one again don't really need to explain that but good for insects uh, red clover fantastic for bees and a whole array of other insects as well low growing as well and will take nicely to uh, regular cutting if you want to create a, a nectar lawn and also greater knapweed or black knapweed, sorry, lesser knapweed or black knapweed. And um, again, fantastic, huge array of insects that actually use this in the summer months. So there's four or five species that I would suggest putting into your lawn. And again, you can plant, you don't have to strip the turf, you can plant them directly into a lawn if you wish to do so. So hopefully you will now be inspired to go and create your own mini meadow in your own garden.